Hey guys, you already probably have guessed, but I am a big fan of the Amazing Spider-Man series, Renew Your Vows specifically. Not a big fan of the new current Spider-Man, though I don't know many who are. But uh, it's a great series, got its own problems and so forth. But if there is a series that did it better, it's gotta be <laughs> the new Superman series, which is just phenomenal and just showcases this is a perfect progression of a character to have a child. And this is what's made Superman an amazing comic to actually go pick up and read. Like, do you know anybody that way back in the day, if you talked to them in the 90s or the early 2000s about S Superman comics, do you know anybody that would like heavily pick them up and think they're the greatest thing on the earth? No. But um, this, this Superman's changed. And we're gonna go talk about it today. And if you're new to the channel, this is what we do. I draw while talking. So let's hope that I can do it because today I'm gonna try and just do it with just a pen instead of a pencil. So let's hope that I can actually deliver on this. But let's go into the into the story. New 52 showed up and they just kind of rebooted everything. And one of the big things about it was that they, they reset the world and decided, you wanna know what? Uh, Superman's not dating Lois Lane anymore. He's never gonna date Lois Lane. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out a good pen for this and looking at stuff. But they decided not to date Lois Lane. They tried, um, I believe they tried Wonder Woman for a while and so forth, but this was kind of a betrayal to the character, just like MJ and Peter Parker. Lois Lane is the, to the Clark Kent, it's just the perfect romance. Everybody kind of wants it. It's it's just what makes the, ugh, this pen sucks. Oh well, um, it makes the character who they are. Lois and Clark are meant to be together. So it was really heartbreaking to see them go and just kind of toss to the side. But here's the thing, after, after the re, after some time with them apart and so forth, they, they started getting ready with Rebirth. And then there was another series that was created that was, um, I believe it's called Lois and Clark. I read a bit of it, and um, it's about an alternate universe Superman and Lois Lane who are together. And I think they were the current, they were the previous universe before they, uh, before it blew up or something. I don't know. I wasn't able to fully read the series. I'm sorry, but um, so they they st they stick together. They're married, and they have a baby into this universe, but the universe is gonna blow up or something and they have to send them out. And thanks to what's left of the Justice League, they send them into the New 52 world and that baby is John Kent. And as the, as Rebirth begins, this Superman takes over the role and it's revealed some, I, I wasn't able to fully read that series either. They keep selling out wherever I go. But um, as the story goes that, um, the New 52 Superman and this Superman were the same Superman, but they were split apart. Uh, and so, like, there was a there were two Lois Lanes and two Superman, but they were split apart into two different universes. And they finally combined, and so the world's fused and the stories, and la la la. So, yeah. Um, but here we are today, and we have John Kent. And John Kent is one of the most interesting and cool characters because he makes Superman enjoyable. And what I mean by that is that if you know anything about Superman, if you like ask anybody about Superman, they, they you usually can say that he's overpowered, he's a boy scout, he's Mr. Perfect, he can do anything, he's pretty much a god. And this is the thing that John Kent does, he gives us a little bit of humanity within Superman, like we can understand and we can we can feel for the guy. We can see that he is a bit more human than we give him credit for because he has a son and he's trying to raise him correctly into a crazy, hectic world where he also has superpowers, which is really cool. And um, another thing that's really cool about John is that he has not developed all of them fully. He, can, he only knows so much and he's slowly learning how to use his powers it's still not all the way there. And it shows that he makes tons of mistakes all on the way. We had never got to see this with Superman. He, we immediately just saw him with like his superpowers as an adult, you know, he's like, yeah, I can do whatever without even trying, but we never got to see him struggle. This is why I think um, if you do a comparison between Goku and Superman, 
The reason that Goku is much more, uh, is a, was, or still is, a much more popular character than Superman is, is because we see him struggle. We saw him from day one. He wasn't always a Super Saiyan. He wasn't always an alien. He wasn't always this amazing badass. He fell. He, he didn't know how to control all the great strength. He didn't have all the great strength. We saw him learn and in the Dragon Ball series all the way to Dragon Ball Z and it still goes on and on. Like he still needs to work and try. And that's what makes Goku really cool. Thing is, Superman, we don't ever really get to see that with him. It's usually, I'm Superman, I'm super powerful, I can do whatever. And that happens a lot with the series, but not anymore. Now we see a bit more of a struggle and it's realistic. It's not about Kryptonite anymore. No, it's about his son and trying to raise him the best he can while hiding that they are a super powered alien family. <laughs> And just uh, keeping them out of trouble from villains and so forth, which happen a lot. They'll, they appear in the series, they do a lot of cool things, and, and hijinks ensue, you know, just like any other comic. Except this is Superman, and I haven't yet to see that in a lot of the older stuff. It's about him being a father, and it's really endearing. And I actually read the comics solely just to see John and see what's up with him. Because uh, there's a lot of cool things about him, such as he doesn't know how to fully control his power. So in one of the first issues, he he uses his laser vision and it doesn't end well. It, it I don't know how to say it without spoiling something. He accidentally kills the cat. They had a pet cat and it was it was being attacked by a hawk. So John decided to try and stop the hawk from hurting it and instead activated his powers specifically his laser vision, and fried the, the hawk along with the cat. It's, it's really upsetting for him, and he realizes that his powers are, un, are kind of out of control, and he fears them at a point. Like, he's still learning everything about them, he's still growing, and it's terrifying. And it's, the next episode is about is about Clark trying to teach him it's okay, you're going to mess up, but I'm going to be there and I'm going to help you through it all. And that is one of the most endearing and sweetest things to see. And I want more of that in my other comics. I want to see that more often. But we don't get to see it a lot of times. And, and I think also Spider-Man would be a great role for that, but we only get it in an alternate universe. I'm just rambling on. I'm not good at this. I wish I was more like diversity in comics and Captain Cummings when they talk about comics, but eh. But anyway, you know, it's just a phenomenal little series that that just shows like Superman can be a really fun character. He he has all the ability. You just have to give him the right progression. Making him date whoever is no fun. We already know he's he, his true love is his uh, Lois Lane, so why not just keep it like that and just progress the story in a different light, such as just giving them the sun that he always wanted. And it is a little, it's difficult to write for kids, but as we all know, that writing evolves and so forth, and people are getting better at it, and they showcase that the, the DC team can do it, and they have been doing just such a great job on this series. It is just a hoot to go and read. We, he, right now, they're in Hamilton. The, they're moving, though. They're moving to Metropolis because obviously you gotta go to Metropolis if you're freaking Superman. So they're gonna go move to Metropolis very soon. And it does show that uh, John is not too happy about it. He doesn't wanna move away from all his friends and stuff, but this is, this is the life they have chosen. And yada yada, and you obviously know they're totally gonna go have to go down there because hello, Metropolis, and Superman. I'm not making my good point here. I'm just struggling to to realize I just messed up on the neckline. Oh gosh, Ugh. but it's just a really endearing thing to see this father and son relationship, and it doesn't stop there. They've They've grown it a bit more by giving, as well, the introduction of Damian Wayne 
to <laughs> to to John and it just makes the series even better cuz they they can't and it's not like oh my gosh they're best friends immediately oh heck no have you seen Damien he's a little well he's 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 certainly something and they and they don't pr hide from this they don't make make them the best of friends for no apparent reason like we're both kids we should be best of friends no 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 they don't they don't ever touch that it's like we hate each other so much because you're annoying and you're a brat and stuff and it's that kind of relationship and it makes it way more fun. And yeah, they're now in a, oh, this, this looks awful. This is why we pencil before we do anything, kids. But uh, they started up a new series based around this premise, which is called The Super Stunts. And it's about slowly trying to make friends between Damien and John. The fathers did this. Um, Bruce and Clark decided they would be great friends. Like, if they could team up, they would be an unstoppable force. And they would be a great, great allies, just like we are. Except the kids can't stand each other. And that's what makes the series so great. Is that Damien thinks of John is like a, is like a little kid and, and he needs to be bossed around kind of thing. Meanwhile, John's like, this guy is so annoying and he is the biggest pompous jerk I've ever seen. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be anywhere near you. And it's just, it's just crazy. And it's fun. And it's just a little wacky humor. Like they don't, they don't know how to get along. So they're going to lose battles. And it's a lot about them learning about their father's friendship to each other. Which it's really cool. Like they don't they don't shy away that um you're not gonna be friends immediately. And they and I hope that they do become friends because it does show show promise that they'll become really good friends in the future, but for now they can't stand each other and it makes great storytelling. So John introduces a lot of different stuff. He introduces like new friendships and new <laughs> and new comics, Super Sons, and he makes Superman more human just by existing. This is his power. Like, without all his superpowers, this is his power right there. He has made Superman Rebirth into something that you gotta buy. Like, I specifically buy Superman Rebirth, not for Superman. I buy it just to hear about John, because I love learning about him. I like learning about his friends and his, and his life, and how he, how how he how he's learning how to be a superhero and learning to be like his father it's just so endearing and it's something that i think everybody should read like go pick that up if you're tired of marvel i guess uh definitely pick up dc because they are just rocking it but specifically i suggest pick up Definitely Superman. Superman is doing great. It is just such a fun series to read. And 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 pick up Super Sense. Pick up Super Sense. That that is just a blast. And I guess this is where we're gonna go and end off. So let's just go and finish that. Eh. I guess that ain't too bad for a tribe with just marker. All right, I'll see you next time.